hello my beautiful collective welcome back to the uh youtube channel thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy okay whatever your enemies have stolen from you whatever uh evil or negative plans of your enemies that are against you they are dismantled and whatever they stole from you is being returned to you it is returned to you as i have said so shall it be judgment is final so we have a king of cups here something there's some type of exposure about this masculine he could be going through some type of karma out here due to something he either did to a queen of wands or something he did with a queen of wands she may have turned on him this is like you what i'm getting is that someone may have left uh like a earth angel or their partner to get with another energy um and they went about it in a very disgusting way so this is one of those uh Oh, what is that? You know that uh, waiting the exile moment where you and someone are together. You're very kind or trying to them. You're like the you look out for them, right? But this person, maybe they come across someone else and they want to replace you. So because they don't have a legitimate reason for why they don't want to be with you, or they they can't really bad mouth you genuinely so they start telling lies to smear your character and things like that they start telling people all kinds of nasty and disgusting thing about things about you that are not true something someone went about something in a very malicious and cunning way like they downgraded you they slander you defame you in really horrible ways someone may have even like just what I'm getting is that there's something really dark that someone did and they got other other people involved in it. But now there's clarity in the situation about what this person did. Correct. Um, so someone could be going through some type of loss, maybe homeless out here looking for a place to stay. The relationship that they left you for is not working out. Um, maybe he's out in the street, may have legal issues coming in. Someone is basically um, out in the cold. They need help but there's no one to help them, you will have been the person that will, been, will have been around to help this person. If someone would have stayed with you, they wouldn't have been going through this experience, especially alone. You are the type of person that would have made sure that this masculine was good, he was taken care of. Um, because what I'm getting is that you could be someone um that you know when you're in a relationship or something like that you make sure that your partners are taken care of i'm telling you you're like wife material you're like the person that makes sure makes makes sure that the home front is taken care of so the children are taken care of the husband or the boyfriend is taken care of the household is taken care of business is taken care of basically right someone went and traded you in for another energy Possibly maybe because she was very beautiful with the Queen of Wands coming out earlier. He may have seen her. She was very attractive. Not that you're not attractive yourself. You're very beautiful. Um, but someone was led astray by some type of superficial uh, uh, dream that they had. They thought they were going to turn, you know, a ho 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 into a housewife or something. Or she was going to change her ways. You do something and she was going to be the ideal partner. Someone thought that you know they have found their the answer to their prayers basically they may be the may people think and see you as like the problem they said oh she does not contribute anything to the household you know she's low down she's worthless someone says some really horrendous things about you but now they're trying to move on from this toxic situation they found themselves in they may have been trying to come towards you but they cannot your ancestors are blocking this person out of your energy because they don't have any good intent for you and because also well this fell out so that means it's supposed to be here also because of the fact that your contract with this person is over on the other hand you have a king of cups that has clarity about a situation which is allowing him to move on with his life and he is standing his ground and manifesting a new reality new life for himself because he's realizing that he's been under some type of illusion so you have a king of cups out here that's moving on to calmer grounds and then you have one that's going through some type of horrendous situation 
situation where he's going through poverty basically someone has lost everything when you and someone we have separated right they will have thought that maybe you were the one who was going to be down on your luck you will have ended up in some type of place where you're between a rock and a hard place and you will have to reach out to them because they have painted this picture of you so well to other people that you were low down and low vibrational people just kind of took it and ran with it someone could be a warlock for um for some of you um and this is why maybe people trusted this person you know they had known him for a long time someone could be in a cult or part of some type of institution that gets involved in things like that so maybe they trusted this masculine's opinion of you but they're realizing that this person lied and they're not happy with how he painted you out to be because these people may have taken action against you for no reason interfering with your blessings and your abundance because they thought this person was telling the truth that you had done something to them only for them to find out honey this is you the whole time you didn't do anything to anyone so someone has some type of price to pay and the price to pay is either them being stuck in some type of unhappy relationship unhappy marriage god forbid they left you and just jumped into a marriage with this jizzy bell or whoever this is is coming back to harm to bite them in the behind really hard god forbid you know she took all his money maybe someone got a little bit of pocket change and they started feeling themselves and they thought they were going to go build a life with someone else turns out that was not someone to build with so he could be going through some type of financial like as well it's a lot of fighting behind the scenes someone needs help but there's no one there to help him and what i'm hearing is that this is judgment because when you need a help or if you would have needed help in this situation at some point this masculine made sure that there was no one to assist you so you had to figure it out no one was genuine to you he didn't want anyone offer you he did not want anyone offering you a genuine friendship he wanted you isolated and rejected and this is what people did to you so you were in isolation by yourself coming up with plans and things like that on how to resolve whatever trauma or situation you were going through what well, nine the tables have turned this person is going through the same experience and this is divine intervention because someone had a lesson to learn it's very possible that you and someone could have been twin flames that could have been like your higher level soulmate or you had some type of contract with them but because this person refused to take charge of their life and have a different perspective about life and how they were living this is why you ended up losing this contract with them not because you did something but because they did something wrong they betray you and the betrayal is leading to some type of victory with you and possibly an emperor so you may have someone new that's coming into your life that's gonna yeah you have a new contract with someone else that's going to be very abundant you may be ending up in a new community or a more abundant community where your emperor will make sure that you are taken care of and this chapter this karmic chapter with you in this king of cups that's going through karma is absolutely over something cannot be brought back something cannot be healed something cannot be restored there could be something where yeah it definitely cannot be restored this is done this heartbreak this betrayal whatever it is it was a little bit too much and it's unforgivable um and i don't think it's that you don't forgive the person but it's un unforgivable in the sense that you are not willing to get back with this person because that is kind of uh being a dumb dumb okay uh someone really outdid themselves like any chances of you and this person coming together is non-existent i don't think you and this person are, are ever going to be reincarnating again together like i think some of you are going through experiences in this lifetime where when you're done you won't be coming back to this planet because you'll have no reason to come back to this planet you've learned quite a lot so you may be going to other planets to have your experience okay so someone may be taking some type of action maybe they're looking for you to come in and give you an offer do not accept an offer from this person there's ulterior motive they're in need of help they're in need of assistance and you're the only one they believe can assist them but they don't realize that this assistance is not available to them okay someone is living in a lot of fear they don't have any genuine people around them someone may be watching you on social media and they're unhappy because you know the truth about something they did to you they thought it was a secret but it's not a secret 
So someone is living in a lot of fear, and this is a huge revelation with the fact that you know exactly what they did, who they did it with, when they did it, why they did it, and they know that you know they betrayed you horrendously, and this is not something that can be recovered. And this is something that's breaking this person's heart. Something tells me as well, this is the type of person when they realize that they are not going to have their way with you as far as being able to slither their way back into your life. They may even start taking more drastic actions and things like that against you, but you shouldn't rest assured and feel blessed that at this point, people know so much about this situation that when he even tries to badmouth you now, tries to destroy you, no one wants to work with him because everything is illuminated. People know the truth about why he did something and what his intentions are. His intentions are not pure, okay? Someone goes to like a practitioner or they do some type of... Uh, ritual and this has something to do with your mental they don't want you to remember the things that they did to you quite impossible i know anything is possible and um, that's how we're supposed to view life but this is one of those things we can say is impossible and we don't feel funny about saying it because it's quite impossible but just know someone does some type of mental magic where they're trying to get you to forget how they betray you all of the, the disgusting and horrendous things they did to you someone may have treated you like a little puppy they didn't have, add any value to you to you and i'm not saying little puppy as in they saw you as cute and you know cherishable and things like that they saw you as a little puppy as in you were irrelevant they could do anything with you anything to you and those are exactly the actions that they took against you so when you were in this relationship with this person for however long i'm hearing hearing six years two years six months five months ten years whatever this is however long you were with this person they saw you as an object, right? They used you as like a, a, a object for magic, basically throwing magic at you, stealing your energy, using it to gain or to manifest other things for themselves outside of the relationship in another home. Someone may have even gone as far as to have a child by someone else. Um, they could have had a son or something like that with this page of wands, wands out here it's quite possible as well that the son may not even be this person's child and they may not know the truth so yeah maybe they found out that there is that is not their child that is not their child like someone deceived this masculine he ended up, yeah someone played with him someone juggled him like he juggled you and then he ended up juggling talk about karma that is like some heavy karma i was gonna say good karma but honey i'm not gonna scoop scoop to that level but you all know what it is that's some good karma i'm gonna say it there's some good karma someone does something to you for another energy just for that energy to turn out to be the the uh the fool so he's going through some type of humbling um, and this is something that he did not expect to be taking place. This revelation, this shaking it up by the most high is something that's very heavy for this masculine. And maybe he's even wondering, it's like, does she know what I did to her? Oh, collective, you know, you know, this person caused a lot of illusions about you. You know, this person lied. You know, this person saw something that glitter and he ran after it, even though you two had had some really hard experiences together or something of that nature. And the moment he saw someone speak behind pretty face, he said, that's the one for me and only for her to disappoint him in the long run. Meanwhile, you're living pretty comfortably. You don't have much to worry about. And this person is going through a tower. This tower keeps popping up because this person may be having some type of rude awakening that you are aware that they were the ones behind all of your trials, your tribulations, people rejecting you and things like that. Because if you're a star seed, you're someone that's naturally abundant and people are naturally drawn to you. And because this masculine, we have seen that about you, he would have went behind the scenes to badmouth you to people so that people could reject you, okay? And yeah, you know. The fact that you know the truth is a rude awakening for this person. So they're not able to come in and cause any type of deceit. They're not able to come in and lie to you. Someone is going to have to come in with truth, being honest, if the energy is even allowed around you. So if they come towards you, they're going to have to tell the truth because you know what they did. This person interfere with your, I'm telling you the illusions, they interfere with your finances, 
your relationships, your resources, everything. And you know exactly what they did. Someone is not happy about the actions they took against you, interfering with your livelihood. You are meant to be abundance and someone took some type of action to interfere with your abundance. Then someone is going through legal issues. I'm telling you. Someone who owed the court some money, someone who owed someone behind the scenes some money, someone who owed a lot of people some money and they're not able to pay it. But honey, the piper is here to collect. That's all the piper cares about. You told me you're going to pay me. I need my money. That's what that is. So someone is going through some, I'm telling you, Someone committed themselves to something and justice is here. They're going to have to pay up. They may not want to, but they have to. Someone owes people a lot of money. Someone may have taken some type of uh, bribery or something behind the scenes to work with a group of people to destroy you. And it has come back to bite them in the behind. Meanwhile, you're out here having yourself a brand new beginning. You have this king of cups here that's facing his fears because he knows the truth. He's facing his fears and moving on to have uh, new beginnings and things like that. And this is what's ahead of him. So you have two different King of Cups going to, uh, through two different experiences. Absolutely. This one is having some type of new beginning in life, new opportunity, fresh start. And this is his justice. Balance is being brought into this situation. He's maybe wanting to connect with you, give you an opportunity of love, of work, friendship, whatever that is. But whoever this is in your back, in your past, honey, they ain't having a good time. They play with themselves. Someone thought something was funny when it first started. This is one of those morons when they're taking actions against you. I'm telling you, someone thought something was funny before. It's not funny anymore. And the fact that they even know someone is coming towards you to give you an offer is pissing them the heck up because someone thought they had destroyed your character so horribly that no one would ever want to partner up with you. But people see exactly this masculine for who he is. Uh, he may be part of a community where they do things like this, destroy careers and pathways and things like that. And maybe you managed to get away from this person and now maybe they see him as a joke. They say you're supposed to be the head of this community and you have a female out here that's beating you at your game, making a fool out of you and you want us to respect you. He's a joke. I'm telling you, he's a joke in the community now. People don't take him seriously. Um, so this is karma. Some of you may have even warned these masculines ahead of time, like, hey, don't do that situation. Don't do whatever it is you're doing. Don't partner up with these people. It's not going to end well. And guess what? They still took action and ended up in this situation. Someone is absolutely going through some type of uh, ins insecurity as far as their finances and things like that. And so they may want to take some type of impulsive action to come towards you to make you an offer. And it's a no. Someone is out in the cold. Someone is out in the cold. And this is a lesson that they have to learn. It's crazy. I think this is something that was predicted on this channel. And that this person could be someone that watches this platform. And we were warning them, but they didn't listen, sir. You know, people, they don't take terror readers serious until what we predict starts happening. Hmm. But someone was warned. Someone was warned. There was a prediction that was made on this channel because this King of Cups has been showing up quite a lot in my readings. He was warned about doing something and he didn't listen. He still did it. And now he could be facing issues in the court system, but there's balance being brought in some type of situation. Someone is doing the right thing. And this man is going through some type of laws that was never prevent. It was never going to be preventable because of the way he went about things, the way he went about things. Okay. So you have one that is seeing things clearly and taking chance and moving on with his life securing his forward movement taking actions and going for the things that he wants in life and then you have the other one that's just going through a horrendous time karma basically we don't feel sorry for these kind of people because this is the bad that they made they have to lay in it this is the only way you learn in life it's through experience and if you have people warning you hey don't do that listen to your intuition i know you're angry right now we know you have a lot of ego you're a narcissist but you may want to pull all of those tricks aside listen to your intuition and don't do this but someone is a karmic full-blooded karmic 
they don't know any way, any other way to be. That's because that's how, that's how they've limited themselves to be. So someone has issues going on, court issues, mental issues, life issues, everything issue. And they're going to come out of it brand stinking new. I'm telling you, they're going to come out of it brand stinking new. Very new. When they come out of it, they'll learn to be a little bit more genuine. And I don't know if it's going to be this lifetime, but honey, it is what it is. Anyways, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, sometimes when we come on here, I'm telling you this justice card, I knew it was going to come out. I knew it was going to come out. Someone is going through court proceedings behind the scenes. It's not going to go in their favor. It's not going in their favor. Whoever whoever is up against them or whatever it is, is going to be winning. Your king of cups that's taking a new chance on life and moving forward, facing his fears, going through some type of dark night of the soul he has justice going on in his life so if he's going through some type of uh, separation or whatever trying to speak the truth or present something to the court system to bring balance into a situation it's going to go in his favor but the other person is just showing up as a king of cups because it is someone you are familiar with someone you have some type of love connection with that's why they're showing up as a king of cups but they're not naturally a king of cups um, but whoever this is that's going to the courts to present something or to the justice system to present something, they're doing the right thing and it's going to be a victory for them. But we hope you know that this is what this higher high priestess is out here. They know they're doing the right thing. They know you're speaking the truth. So you may have said something. There's something that illuminated the truth. Blood, blood, care, well, excuse me, <laughs> clarity brought clarity in a situation which is leading to justice for you and this king of cups someone may be pissed off behind the scenes which is this king of cups because people misled this masculine about you or situation yeah this is a tower moment this is a tower moment you know a little bit too much you know a little bit too much and you knowing exactly who was doing what is bringing conflict is causing conflict is causing conflict some of these people are going through towers and still trying to stay calm this is not the time to stay calm this is the time to take action all those impulsive actions you all were taking before hey now anyways this is you these people have been trying to end you and you found the strength to move forward stay in your healing energy be a blessing to people in the world yourself everything and your people are burdened about this the burden because they can't undo you they can't shake you up like they've tried to undo you in multiple ways you have this is not just like one or two people this is a whole group of people working behind the scenes like a whole family of people working behind the scenes a couple working behind the scenes to end you for no reason no reason at all they want to humble you they say you're not humble enough because I guess that's that's their place to decide that. But this is your future, Queen of Cups. And this is your future. Ten of Pentacles, success, affluence, influence, right? Yeah. Your pathway is clear. The truth is out. This is not a past or future event. This is the truth is out. Okay? Absolutely out. I'm telling you, the truth is out. With this hanging man here, Someone knows the truth. This King of Cups going in the right direction. He knows the truth. And he's removing himself from this toxic group. He's walking away from his friends. So that means that he was part of this mess before. But now that he knows the truth, he may have been under some type of illusion, thinking that he was on the right team, the winning team, until something was revealed about who you were and what the truth of the matter was. And he's removing himself from that situation and moving on, trying to do the right thing. I don't know who this is. Someone may want to communicate with you. Someone may want to communicate with you and they're sending you a lot of, lots of positive energy because they know these people have been doing magic behind the scenes. So and you keep you in stagnation, block your messages, block your downloads, block your intuition. Someone wanted your intuition blocked so that they could come into your energy and be able to deceive you. Say, hey, I was, I'm just, yeah, they wanted to block your intuition, but you're the queen of cups. Your intuition is protected. Someone wanted to come in and, you know, deceive you and say, hey, I've changed. I've healed. I was wanting us to kind of 
work on our relationship on our family i think it would be a good thing if the kids had a had a two-parent household instead of a whatever it is or you and i you know we started dating since we were in high school or something like that um I, that's a long time we, you know we know each other like our abcs and you mean the world to me and your ancestors were like we don't speak that language you need to get away and stay away i'm telling you get away stay away stay where you are there is no movement you are not going to be re, uh, reconnecting with the past. Your ancestors are protecting you. You are absolutely secure. Where you are, you are protected. This is one of the situations where people will try to make you feel uncomfortable in your environment, but you don't feel uncomfortable because you know the powers that be are watching you. You, I'm telling you, the powers that be are watching you. You have sentient beings that are watching over you. You have uh, divine beings that are like you have you are covered and there's something in here about your protection as well your security that bothers someone in this situation they don't understand why are you this protected why are you this protected someone in here your ex tried to get you caught up in some type of legal matter and it flipped turned upside down on him now he's in legal issues and you're nowhere to be found you're very protected you have a victory that's coming in so fast, so quick. You don't even know this. You don't even know this. But you're protected, honey. You're secure. I'm telling you, you are secure. You are the high, the high priestess. So you may know. Some of you may know. Some of you may not. But you have abundance around the corner from coming right at you at the speed of light. You are secure. You're protected. Justice is your victory is yours. Okay. Yeah, look at that. I'm telling you, clarity and it led to a tower. People see things for exactly what it is. People see things for exactly what it is. Someone cannot cause illusions anymore, conflict anymore. They can't lie anymore. Someone has told so many lies, they've forgotten the lies that they told. They're telling new lies to cover the old lies. The new lies are not making sense. So people are asking questions now. You told us she was uh, purple. Now you're telling us she's green. Oh, you know, maybe when you mix green and this together, it makes purple. So it's still the same at the end of the day. What? Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Okay? Uh-uh. So there's a tower going on behind the scenes. Uh, there could be uh, like a court case going on where people are realizing that you didn't have anything to do with the situation. You did not have anything to do with the situation. Someone may have tried to forge your signature, frame you or something like that and said that you had something to do with a matter that does not pertain to you. You had nothing to do with the situation and there's clarity in here. Something has been revealed about some type of uh, manipulation deceit that was going on in the court system and now the truth is revealed okay whoever this is thought they were going to come sail the karma waters and things like that they're having a hard time staying strong honey someone is having a hard time staying the course they were going to take some type of impulsive action and this i'm telling you your protection is ridiculous your protection is ridiculous. Your ancestors are telling you to fall back, and they're keeping that sucker out of your energy. They're like, hey, you stay right there. You don't got nothing to do with this matter. We're taking care of it. We're separating all of this hocus pocus. Everyone that's in here, we're separating them. Okay? Whatever action someone thought they were going to take to come in and do you something is not happening. They don't even have the strength, honey. Someone is emotionally unbalanced out here. They're losing their mind. Someone is a hot mess. If you were to see some of your exes today, they look like Smokey from the PJs. Someone may have some type of droops addition. Someone has some type of addition that they are struggling with. And I don't know what it is. It could be an extra addition for some of you. Someone goes both ways. Someone's very impulsive. Someone just lays with anyone. There's something like that going on in here. But someone does not have the strength to move on and carry on like you had to. They separated you from everybody. And now he's living in some type of regrets. Like, I should have never done this to this person. You're damn skippy. You shouldn't have. 
Someone caused a lot of illusions. And when they started causing these illusions, they were graining from cheek to cheek. All 32 teeth were out sparkling white. Proud of themselves. And you know what? Some of you were living with these masculines at the time when they were doing all these illusions. And you went in every day smiling with them, being kind to them, being joyful and things like that, sharing life with them. And they were laughing at you. Smirking. Like... You didn't even know what was going on. You didn't know they were betraying you the whole time. And you were being kind to them. And that's okay. That's how your ancestors, the heavenly host, had it set up. Because then there's nothing this person can genuine, genuinely say that you did to them for it to justify their actions. There's nothing that justifies the things that they did to you or tried to do to you. And that's why they're going through this karma. You're protected, honey. You got nothing to worry about. You are secure. Someone has pissed someone off behind the scenes. Whoever that masculine is from your past, he has pissed someone off behind the scenes. And he's, he may be on the run. I'm telling you, he pissed someone off behind the scenes. He interfered with someone's money. Someone partook in something because of what this masculine told him. And now they are going through some type of financial loss. And your ancestors are the one on top of it. They said, oh, you want to take from her? You want to take from him? We'll strip you of everything. Now you got to focus on how or figure out how you're going to make it to your next meal. Okay? If this is balance. Someone saw they, were, they had enough to hold them through, hold them down until this whole scenario was over. No. No. Loss. Whatever this is cannot be restored for them. And there's something where someone is fooling around behind the scenes with either someone's position, someone's business, someone's platform, and rest assured every time they do something to your, 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 your position, your business, your platform, they're losing something behind the scenes too. So it's a tick for tact at this point with your ancestors. They say you take from her, you take from him, we'll take from you too. But the only thing is whatever they're losing is way bigger than what you're losing. What you're losing is going to be restored to you, collective, but what they're losing will not be restored. So either someone's wife, there's some woman behind the scenes that's very set on destroying someone's livelihood, stability, someone being seen, things like that. Honey, keep going, keep going, because everything she's doing is going to, is causing her something. So you're in the end, you're going to be okay. <laughs> she's going to have to walk away, but let her keep doing it because, honey, when when, by the time she realized it, this is like a mice. You know how mice eat away at things little by little? They eat away, they eat away, they eat away. By the time you realize it, your you know, block of cheese has gone from this to like maybe this. That's what she's doing. And she doesn't realize it. She thinks she's destroying your life, but she's destroying hers. This could be a, mas a masculine that's doing it, but I'm getting like a feminine energy that just does not know how to let go. So they think they can take in actions to block your forward movement is doing something. No, 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 darling. No, 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 no. This is you. And someone is barely holding on. Barely. They thought they were secure until this whole thing will blow over. Not so. Okay? They're out here disappointed because you are still getting your wish fulfillment. Someone sees you as like a cash cash cushion. You're going from like there's something where people took from you or blocked, and they thought it was gonna wipe you out. You're gonna be disappointed about life. There's something like that, but they did it in a strategic way where you were not supposed to know that it was them. You didn't even care who was doing it. You just knew it was taking place, but you stay calm. You didn't act, you didn't take any actions, you didn't overreact, nothing. You just let them do that because you know you are going to be restored. And when they were doing it, honey, yeah, you are going to be restored and this is them going through heartbreak, disappointment. Someone is out in the cold. Someone could be homeless. And when they were doing it, honey, they were walking around with a mask. When they got together as a group, they were high-fiving themselves like, look, like that, that dumb bee. She don't even know that we're doing this to her behind the scenes. No, you knew. That dumb mother effort, he doesn't even know we're doing this behind the scenes. He's out here all the time smiling with people, 
Man, he's dumb as heck. She's dumb as heck. Someone thinks you're dumb, but they didn't know the whole time you knew what they were doing. So who's the dumb one? Okay, we will wait. Yeah, you knew the whole time, but you stay quiet. <laughs> you knew the whole time, but you stay quiet. Someone committed himself to something. There's a king of cups in here as well. And I'm seeing a lot of them. He's going through some type of ending because of something he did to you. He didn't believe in karma until this took place. Someone did not believe in karma. They were in denial. They said karma, karma, this. You say something about uh, spirituality, karma, it pisses them off. They said this person is dumb as heck. They don't know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. And they're going through some type of karma. They said they don't, they're talking about their ancestors, their this, their that, and yeah, and this is them. If this is them. A lot of people in here trying to hide your faces, not wanting to be seen now at this point. And this is what they're going through, karma. You and this person don't have any more contracts together. So I don't know why they're so desperate to get in your energy. It's not happening. Like the truth is out there. They can't hide it anymore. Someone is stalking you and things like that. They can't hide it anymore. I'm telling you, this contract is over. It's over. This contract is over. They're not able to come in and mislead you anymore. I don't know what the heck they thought this was. This is one of those situations, too, for some of you where someone thought they were going to work against you, destroy your future and everything, and then they will be the ones to come in and save the day. They said, oh, I didn't know that's how that worked. You mean you can destroy someone's life and still be the one to come in and save them? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, that don't, it don't work that way. So this person is kept out of your energy. Someone is looking. They're like looking for you, trying to figure out where you are. I'm telling you, they're looking for you, trying to figure out where you are. And you know the truth about what they partook in. And you don't want nothing to do with this person. And you're not going to have anything to do with this person. You're, they're being kept out of your energy. They're being kept out of your energy. Someone is now broke feeling isolated and trapped in some type of either toxic marriage institution code or coven okay lord have mercy it's like someone trapped themselves listen trapped themselves they can't get out of it they can't get like someone broke their own heart they took all of these actions is that someone just wanted you to be rejected they wanted you to be rejected by people rejected by the spirit realm just rejected overall in life and it's really baffling because this is someone that's into magic so if you're into magic how can you not understand how the spirit realm works how can you not understand understand how spirituality works the 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 um contracts are specific right how can you not understand how these kind of things work how long did you think you were going to keep doing this Someone thought they were going to keep you isolated, rejected for the rest of the time you were on this planet. And now they're realizing they effed up royally because now they're in something they can't get out of because you don't want nothing to do with them. People may not even want anything to do with this person. There's a feminine energy that's been rejected as well, probably being put out of a group. They said, we don't want nothing to do with you, right? Because someone just refuses to heal. Something is wrong with a feminine energy mental. And people are starting to see that they're bothered by it. They're bothered. Mind you, these are karmics too, but the level of karmic, karmicness, karmic, whatever this is, is a little bit too much for these people. They're like, leave this person alone. But she wants to keep going. But everything she's doing is causing them a loss. And this is why they're putting her out of a group. They don't want nothing to do with her. They've told this woman, leave this person alone. We're done. And someone keeps taking action behind the scenes. They keep taking action behind the scenes and then acting that they don't know. They don't have anything to do with it. They're not doing anything. They're minding their business. No, you're not. No, you're not. Man, someone's... <laughs> I keep using this analogy because it's something that's very applicable to these reads. 
someone had a diamond in their hand and they tossed it on the side because the diamond was not as sparkling as they wanted the diamond to be. You see how diamonds look when you first find them or dig them up in those, uh, 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 in, you see how diamonds look, right? When you get them out of the ground, they look rough, right? They look rough, dirty, and things like that. What do you have to do to get it to sparkle? You got to clean that sucker up, polish it, and things like that. So it can look like what, what we are accustomed to seeing it as. Someone found a diamond, and, but, and because it was still rough looking, it was still dirty and things like that. He said, I don't have time. He tossed it aside. That's a worthless piece of, piece of stone. He didn't know it was a diamond. So he tossed it aside and went on to, you know, pick up his sparkling gold foil, by the way. And he was excited showing everybody his gold foil covering a coal. Look at my gold. Look at my gold. Look at my gold. Look at my gold. That would be you and the Instagram hot. Look at my goal, look at my goal, look at my goal, look at my goal. And someone looked, they said, hmm, that don't look like real gold. But okay, if he says it's gold, who am I to tell him it's not gold? Look at my goal, look at my goal, look at my goal, look at my goal. He showed the gold up so much, had it out for so long, it started peeling. He said, oh, uh, th that ain't gold, brother. Oh, no, 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 it's gold. He tried to, you know, adjust the little tears and things that they put it back together. <laughs> because by that time, he knows it's not gold, but he's living in denial. Denial is a river in Egypt, and he's in denial. He don't want people to know that it's not gold. It's coal. It's charcoal. So he's trying to adjust the foils around there, pinching them and everything that come back together. And then he folds it down, put it back down, wakes up the next day. The tear is even bigger now. He said, oh, shoot. This mother sucker is all the way out. I can't hide this anymore. She's not an empress. This is not gold. <laughs> now she's giving him the working of his life. <laughs> I'm telling you, honey. She's giving him the working of his life. Cheating on him, playing him like a tuba, not really even interested in him. Maybe she thought he had money. Maybe he had a lot of money when they started. But the money is gone, and now they're just stuck together with each other. Nowhere to go. No one wants either of them. Sincerely. She has a lot of other partners. She's non-committal. <laughs> Someone left a solid relationship, traditional mindset, committed to go end up with someone non-committal. Someone does not care about heart matters. Someone does not give two S-H-I-T what's going on with you and your hearts. You have a lot of feelings for her. Oh, that's cute. She don't care. Someone is committed to their toxicity. She gets online and she stalk other people. She's stalking you. In some way, she's obsessed with you. You take over this woman's day. Obsessed. So he left you to go be with someone non-committal. He was trying to make it work for a long time, trying to pretend like they were happy. I'm a... I know we're, I know my bloodline. I know I am exemplary of my bloodline. We are a goofball, non committal, non committal. I know my bloodline. We are a mess. We goof around a little bit too much. We seem stoic, which we are in a, in a way. But underneath all of that stoicism, we are goofballs. That yeah, well, we don't care about no joy, happiness, or whatever in a relationship. There's a purpose for why she got in this relationship with this masculine. There was some type of financial gain, some type of appearance. This was for appearance, or maybe this is them behind the scenes, wild, fighting, unorthodox, all kinds of mess. And then in the public, this is them, the ideal couple. They're not happy. 
and if they didn't they didn't date, if you didn't date this person or whatever someone had a chance to have a new life and they went back to the past this is it for some people they went back to the past and they thought it would be able to work things out it didn't do go that way there's someone that's leaving a feminine energy because he's just done with the heartbreak and disappointments and things like that there's a divorce going on in a relationship and this is honey you know what there's a divorce going on hmm i was gonna say something but i'm not gonna say it oh my lord that girl do not care about love Someone wants to have a genuine connection with a star C. Someone wants a family. I'm telling you, he's letting go. He's removing himself. Whoever this is, mm, he is removing himself from a toxic relationship, toxic group. Mm, 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 mm. This is this, sometimes this is the kind of karma where God will give you a front row seat so you can watch it play out. <clears throat> you get to watch it play out, and you don't say a goddamn thing. You just get you your popcorn, your whatever snack you eat, whatever you drink, and you just sit back from afar because you know it's a whole lot of towers going on behind the scenes. People don't have the strength to move on anymore. Your ancestors are in there kicking behinds. Kicking behinds. Playing Russian roulette with these people. What will we take today? You took $5 from our daughter, from our son. Um, I think we want to take $1,000 from you. Oh, you took $200 from our daughter. I think we're going to take $200,000 from you. Just like that, Russian roulette. The math ain't mathing, but your ancestors don't care. The tick for tag is not tick for tag team. Because <laughs> they don't play fair. <laughs> your ancestors don't play fair. <laughs> Someone is so pissed up behind the scenes. <laughs> Your ancestors don't play fair. These mother suckers do not have any patience. <laughs> they don't have any patience. If someone's out here playing games, they were playing games with their life. <laughs> Your ancestors, they said, oh, you want to play? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which... You want to play? Okay, we'll play a game with you. <laughs> they play the game better. <laughs> they them. Say, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's not how the game goes. Oh, <laughs> we forgot to tell you. We invented this game before you ever. <laughs> before you ever came about. So someone didn't know. The the little games they were playing they were playing against the inventors of the game <laughs> they said oh we know all the rules of the game <laughs> we can do what we want since we're the one with the upper hand <laughs> we're the ones with the authority to make just judgment in this situation and they're not happy behind the scenes <laughs> oh is it no 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 <laughs> you're done <laughs> you're done Oh, you're done. Oh, I said, no, 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 no. That's not how you go. To, that's not the rules of the game. Is it? But we'll tell you the rules of the game. Come on, come, 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 come and sit. Have a seat, Maria. Have a seat. Come <laughs> Is that Maria? <laughs> Look, come on, we're gonna tell you the, the rules of the game and we'll tell you your future. <laughs> oh, we'll tell you your future, Maria is done. <laughs> you won't be recovering from this. <laughs> Maria said, What? I don't that's not what I want. No, 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 no. Oh Lord. This whole time someone thought. 
they were going up against you, the human, but no, they've been going up against your ancestors. My gosh. Oh, this is too funny. Maria don't know what to do with herself. Maria said, no, I only took $10 from them. Oh, well, we we, we saw it at, we saw it as $10,000 because that $10 you took, they could have invested it and got $10,000 back. So you took $10, we took 1000 we took 10000 Oh, it's fair in war and love, Maria. Remember? <laughs> Maria? <laughs> Maria don't want to be a thief no more. Don't want to be a thief no more. Oh, my gosh, Maria. You effed up and found out, didn't you? It's a hard knock life for Maria. I'm telling you. It's a hard knock life because everything is out in the open. The star sea is getting their way. They're moving on. They're set free, free to go. And they're all watching you. They're all watching you. Trying to come up with ways. That's how crazy these people are. They're still trying to come up with ways on how they can come in and cause you blockages. I'm telling you, these people never learn. They never learn. Never learn. They have to. Because the decision has been made. It has been made. Someone is fixing it behind the scenes. Fixing it. You got people in here that want want to fight you. Pick a fight with you. Have you unhinged. Because they're just determined to paint you out in the light that's not yours. And say, we told you this person is unstable. We told you this person is a liar. They say, um, yeah, I don't think so. That's not how it's going. I told you I looked into it and found out the truth because you're a liar. Two and two ain't acting up. It ain't adding up either. It's supposed to be, you know, loading, but it's not acting up. It's been real flat. I keep putting in two plus two into the calculator and it ain't acting up like it's supposed to. It's not adding up. The mapping, mapping, Maria. The mad thing, mad thing. Someone's out here, they took so many lies. You have a feminine energy that said you did something to her. This woman has lied to a whole community of people that you did something to her and people are finding out you didn't do nothing to this person. Someone is just a bullfish lie and they're just intimidated by you. Someone is just toxic. Just a toxic, just a toxic, toxic for no reason, unbearable. So this could be why people are rejecting this woman, maybe separating themselves from her because she just refuses to grow up. But I guarantee you there's someone behind the scenes. Every time they do something to you, your ancestors are just sitting back and just waiting for the right time to strike them. And they let her forget. They're letting him forget. They do something to you today. They feel all happy about it. Just a blissful, yes, I blocked their money. I block that opportunity from being given to them. And your ancestors are sitting back and said, <laughs> they're laughing with her. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did that. Oh my gosh, you did that. You did that. And then before, before you know it, oh my gosh, my money, my money keeps decreasing. Oh my gosh, I lost my job today. I don't what I'm gonna do <laughs> why are you crying when you were taken from this person you didn't see them crying at you no 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 honey their ancestors told them to stay in this energy keep your mind on positive thoughts even though they didn't want to they took heed and did just that so Maria keep your mind on positive thoughts <laughs> Someone's someone took some type of relationship, not took the relationship literally, but they blocked a relationship only to end up losing their relationship. So if you and someone were supposed to come together and someone interfere, guess what? They end up going through some type of 